you want to perform some considerably more sophisticated calculations than you have done until now. Additionally, you want Excel to automatically execute actions or make decisions depending on particular values. You already know that Excel comes with more than 200 inbuilt functions that you can use for these purposes. This learning module will show you the structure of functions. Functions have a very specific structure that you should understand in order to work with them without problems. Each function always returns exactly one value and returns it in the cell that contains the function. The formula used for the calculation is specified here. The function always contains these elements. The equal sign, then the function name, in this case sum, and the so-called function arguments in parentheses. Arguments are values that are included in the function. Some functions do not require any arguments at all, while others require up to five arguments. Multiple arguments are always separated by a semicolon. Arguments can be of a very different nature. Sometimes they are just a number specified directly in the function, but usually there will be cell references to particular cells or cell ranges included in the function, as in the sum function in this case. However, formulas or functions can be also used as arguments. These kinds of functions are referred to as nested functions. Some advanced functions require very specific knowledge of the arguments and their correct order. These functions are best created using the function wizard.